Well, today we're going to take a little tour of Viejo San Juan or Old San Juan. And uh, we're driving in today. It's one of the ways in. Lots of people get here by cruise ship. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, you can also take an Uber here. But uh, we're driving today. We've got a little tour, supposedly at the uh, La, La Fortaleza. And uh, we're going to show you our favorite uh, parking spot if you drive into Old San Juan. But this is sort of the drive in from, uh, from Condado. right is a uh, Balneario Escambron. It's like the, the one beach area here in Old San Juan. Sorry, Old San Juan is not known for its, uh, its beaches in and of itself. It's the old city, so not, not too many beaches here. Coming up uh, above this mural on the left. I don't know if I'll be able to capture it here driving by, but this is a uh, Really, a tile mural along this wall here. It's just, uh, just gorgeous. Maybe I'll come back and, and walk, walk that. Here is a great, great hamburger place right up from the beach, and we still have a little ways to go to get into Old San Juan proper. Again, just the massive, massive San Cristobal here. favorite parking spot here in Old San Juan. It's uh, sort of at the, uh, it's not so far deep into Old San Juan, so I have to drive through all the narrow roads. Turn right on Calle Norzagari, then take the first left. Take the next right on Calle Norzagari. Turn left on Calle del Sol. In 500 meters, turn right on Calle de la Cruz. Uh, we see a cruise ship in here today. There's been a lot of cruise ships in San Juan recently. And, uh, and here we are. We're into the old San Juan proper. Our parking area, Doña Fela, right here at the entrance of Old San Juan. Turn right on Calle de la Tronca, then take the first left. Well, it's about 8.30, and uh, this is where the cruise ship stop. We've got the two in here so far. I don't know if any more will come in today. It's been, been a lot more recently, but this is, this is the cruise ship uh, dock area. We will walk up along here, and we have a uh, have an appointment, a reservation actually for a tour at the uh, La, La Fortaleza. So uh, we're going to walk through town and uh, get to the uh, the governor's residence, La Fortaleza, and uh, take our 9 a.m. tour. Well, on the far side here is. Uh, Far side of the bay is Catano, and uh, here are two, here are two cruise ships in port today. And over here on the left, actually, is the uh, is the Coast Guard station. It's this whole area. Over here is, is the Coast Guard station. You see one of their ships there. And the other ones are they're working on the port. Obviously, I'm here pretty early, and uh, things are still pretty closed up. All the food trucks here 
But uh, things will be hopping in here in, in a couple hours. Old San Juan is uh, famous for its uh, narrow streets. And you can see some of that here. I always park in the parking lot. So I don't want to be just driving around looking for a spot on the street. Too many stories of people getting tickets and towed here. So I just bite the bullet and, uh, and pay them. It's much easier. Particularly since I take the first parking lot in town. Don't have to deal with the traffic in the streets. This, this uh, street up here has become famous recently and they started uh, hanging different displays, different decorations over the street and it's actually really really gorgeous so I guess probably better at night here since so this is all lit up rather than what it is here. All right and uh, right up from uh, the Fortaleza is uh, one of the two places in uh, San Juan that claim to be the uh, the originator of uh, La Pina Colada here, the Parachina. And uh, been in there, had their Pina Coladas. Maybe I'll come back later, have one. Maybe I'll go in there now, actually have some orange juice. Here is the, uh, the Centro, here in uh, San Juan, a square. Right across from the uh, Department of State for, for Puerto Rico, a little coffee shop, and uh, there'll be some little vendors here a little later on. This guy's already selling his, uh, we're selling him. Sit here with, uh, with this guy, his composer. One thing about San Juan is there are a lot of pigeons, and uh, the pigeons, pigeons love this square. Another example of the narrow roads here. And again, still pretty quiet. Walk down here. And wow, all these places will be open. It's not just a, a you know tourist trap area. I mean, here's an insurance firm. Got a hardware store here. Also, if you uh, if you're interested, you know, have this little parking garage. But one of these things like too narrow for me. Want to get into? Choco Bar, not open yet. Lisa loves that place. And across the street, they got Choco Lato. And of course, now we're getting into more narrow streets here. Getting into the places that cater to the tourists come here on on the cruises it's like a monk you know didn't know there was a monastery here okay, well. oh, here we go Here's the inside. Pretty 
plain roof for most of the places we've seen. Maritime Museum. Maybe I'll come back. It's five dollars. Too bad Mr. Weenie Waffles isn't open. Square that's uh, right up from the cruise ships. And uh, we saw this as we drove in this morning. And now we see some of the vendors opening up. See more people. And we see over here, we still have uh, San Cristobal cafe, a restaurant here. Nice, uh, several nice places to eat. And eat. We've eaten in uh, probably a couple of these around, around here. Of course, this is uh, Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Colon, as they say here in, uh, in Puerto, Puerto Rico and in, in Spanish. Selling, selling uh, typical sweets made here in Puerto Rico. And of course, the uh, I love uh, San Juan sign. And the line of tourists lining up, get their pictures taken in front of it. Tour bus, tour bus. Yes, ah. Where'd you guys go? This is a private tour. Uh, where'd you go? We go around the old San Juan, new San Juan. We're done right now. We're they're going back around shopping uh -huh. and then back to the ship. Thank oh, hey, cool. How long is it? How long is your tour? Two hours. Two hours. Okay, you pick people up at the. Uh, the, the cruise ship's are it's prepaid. Prepaid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have a good hey, you too. So San Cristobal is. Uh, maintained by the National Park Service and they charge a fee to get in here and uh, that fee if you use it within the same day can get you into El Moro uh, or if you're a National Park, Park uh, member of a pass you know, obviously that pass can, uh, can get you into both of them too I can't remember what the price is but we do have to do a video of our tour of San Cristobal and uh, I'm sure we talked about how much it costs to get in there it's the Haitian Gallery, right across from uh, Mr. Bal Cologne, and uh, Lisa loves this place. She's got a little soft spot in her heart for Haiti, for Haiti since she spent so much time there in, in the 90s. We need to come back here and get ourselves uh, some a mask here. Oh, that is beautiful, man. Wow. This is the place to get your your hat. Ah. You may have to get me one of those. We got that piranha Joe here. The wildest experience on the planet. Uh, that's uh, enough to uh, entice me to come in here, see what they have, which is going to be so wild in here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I just came to see what the wildest experience on the planet is. Oh, it's about franchise. It's about branding clothing line. Oh, it's just a brand. There's a story behind it, how uh -huh. they got wild in the Amazon River. They survived. The fans survived. Oh, really? Yes, wow. uh, we have a history up there too. Ah. So that's, they got the wild experience and they from the t-shirts they are explaining it. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it was enough to entice me in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> here we got the uh, the Diamond District. Be careful walking through here. And uh, Cigar House. We got walking here. Wow. 
Uh, check it out. And this is the place to come if you're into cigars. Some uh, masks from uh, Miguel Caraballo. I don't see a price on that guy. Uh, sold. Been in this store before. But uh, this is just a like, stunning example of, of his work. $1,900. Huh? Another reason why you don't want to drive here. First, look at a road. Second, even early in the morning, there's a lot of traffic. Well, here's a little park just down from the Fort de Lesa. Overlooks the harbor. Here you see the uh, cruise ship port. Straight ahead is the Coast Guard base. To the right is uh, the Fort de Lesa. And I'll take you up here. It's a famous uh, square of pigeons here. So, all right, up we go. And uh, see all these people here, they're on a walking tour with a guide on a cruise ship. But uh, you can set those up with uh, other tour guides. And this is uh, an area just for some restaurants. So this is very interesting. This is like the called Pigeon, Pigeon Park. Let's see, his real name is Parque de las Palomas. Parque de las Palomas. And uh, zillions of these flying rats hang out here. People feed them. Gross, disgusting, if you ask me. Yeah, yuck. <laughs> I don't even want to walk through here, but I guess I will. Here, she sells you pigeon feed so you can have them walk all over you. Ooh, like that girl. Yeah, yuck. Okay, to each his own, to each his own. Parakeets are one thing, <laughs> flying rats are another. Uh, this is quite the uh, interesting tree here. Oh, pulling out some more food for him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. A little bronze sculpture, artwork here. It's a uh, book museum. I have to go in there too. Two places I want to go. Yeah. All right, maybe I can find some place to eat here. Now there are multiple gelato places here in San Juan, but uh, this is the nicest one I've seen. Well, look at this. This is right at the uh, corner of of uh, the Fortaleza and uh, Las Palomas Park. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, all right. After lunch, I gotta find, I'm gonna come back to this place. It's a gallery here. There you go. I'm not gonna go in today. But something to do uh, another day. There are, uh, there are multiple hotels in the city just like this. And uh, just a little door entryway. up into like a beautiful beautiful lobby and uh, I'm sure the rooms are are tremendous here a little later in the day more people here still a couple of school groups but uh, certainly many many more pigeons have arrived uh, and of course you gotta have a paragua right on the square and the paragua vendor This place here. Hmm. 
has uh, got some great, great uh, crafts, artisan crafts in here. Selection of coffee. 